Hi! In this video I'm going to teach you how to make an offset follow a curve in Blender. So we are going to make something similar to this. Alright, so we are going to start. In my case I'm going to start with a curve. So I'm going to create a circle. I'm going to edit mode. I'm going to select all, subdivide and I'm going to select some handle, handles and rotate actually I'm going to rotate one like this and then I'm going to select another one press shift R and like this so I'm just going to have a shape something like a star going back to object mode Alt C and we are going to convert this curve to a mesh. So we press there, going back to edit mode, we're going to select everything, extrude on the Z axis, like that. We're going to extrude, press S to scale, like that. And actually I'm going to do this on both sides like this there we go and I'm going to delete those faces so delete faces and I'm going to select this extrude in the set axis 0 0.05 and the same here minus 0 0.05 there we go and I'm going to choose to apply a bevel here sorry I'm going to apply a bevel and the same here alright so there we have the basic shape I'm going to recalculate the normals and smooth shading maybe I'm going to add a subsurface so the vision for surface, like that, apply, and there we go. So now we are going to create a curve. In my case, a Bezier curve. And we're going to place it like that. You can rotate the handles, press E to extrude, in edit mode, like that. to select everything please press B and select automatic right now I'm going back to this object I'm actually going to set up some materials right now so new material principle I'm going to use a metallic like that and on edit mode I'm going to select those faces and those ones I'm going to create a new material an emission well like that and select assign and now we are going to go to the modifiers of this object we are going to select an array we are going to select merge fit time fit curve we are going to select the curve and then we are going to add another modifier and the modifier is going to be the modifier curve we are going to pick the curve and we are going to change the axis to one that works and here we are going to change this there we go and so we have something like that so we are going to try a render and there we go so maybe I'm going to change the material here so with this you can do a lot of stuff with your imagination so I hope you liked this tutorial and I will see you in the next video